Weathering with You is the latest movie from director Makoto Shinke after the immensely successful movie Kimi no Nawa. Does it live up to people's expectation? But before we continue this video, I just want to tell you to lower your expectation because I want you to judge it as its own movie and not watch it with unrealistic expectations. The story is about two teenagers, runaway boy Horika Murishima and 100% Sansaiga Hina Amano. The movie starts off with Hodaka on the boat heading towards Tokyo where he meets Suga, who works at an editing company, which he later gets a part-time job at. The story of Wedding With You has your typical Shinka setup of boy meets girl and their life change with each event that happens throughout the movie. The main characters are obviously Ranubi boy Hodaka and 100% Sanjaga Hina. Hodaka is from a small town in Japan and during his summer break he decided to run away Tokyo because he had grown tired of his hometown and wanted to start a new life in the big city. Hodaka is an outspoken person that can be perceived as naive at times and the decisions he makes are mostly based on impulse and without much thought. He is from Tokyo and is a typical Japanese anime girl. Hina lives with her little brother Nagi in a small apartment in Tokyo without her parents due to one being hospitalized and the other one passing away the year prior. She is also referred to as 100% sunshine girl because she can make the rainy weather disappear and replace it with sunshine instead. The animation in Wonder with you looks really good, it was probably the best thing about the movie, especially the way they animated the water. The weather scenes in general were really well done, not just the scenes that involved a lot of water. Every time they showed Tokyo from a bird's eye view, it reminded me of how similar it looked compared to how Tokyo was pertaining in your name. I also would have liked if they had shown more of Hodaka's backstory, because the story mostly takes place around central Tokyo and the commercial buildings that surround them, such as hotels and apartments, and it would have been nice change to see them change between scenes that were more colorful and vibrant. I'm not saying they didn't do it at all, I just think there should have been more scenes like when Hina was falling through the sky or when Hina prayed and all of those clouds started to disappear and the sun started to show because those scenes were really breathtaking to look at. This is not supposed to be a comparison video but I'm going to make an exception here. The Rare Wings returned for this movie and they did a pretty good job with the main song of the movie but I still like the soundtrack and main thing of your name better because even though the songs accompany the scenes well, I just couldn't remember the specific scene that they were in if I listened to the song on their own, like I did with Kimi no Nawa. Did I cry watching this movie? And the answer is no, I didn't. I didn't cry watching Kimi no Nawa either, but at least shed some tears at the end. Although as much as I enjoyed watching it, it just didn't hook me enough. For example, even though the story had a good and sort of interesting premise, it in the end just felt a bit too simple. And by that I mean, when the movie was about to reveal hints about what the ending was going to be, I had already figured out what was going to happen, which made the reveal fall a bit flat if I'm being honest with you, but that's just my opinion. You may not think so after watching it. Although the movie came in now was more to my preference, I still enjoyed the movie a lot, and I'm pretty sure that there will be a lot of videos on YouTube comparing the two movies in the future. To 10 people watching this video, thank you. And what did you think of the movie? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Or have you not seen it? And that is all I have to say about Tenki no Ko, aka Weathering With You. And I will hopefully see you next week with a new video. That is if I don't get crushed by schoolwork. So see you next week, hopefully. Also, happy birthday to my friend watching this. Okay, bye for now.